Last year, teams made up with some of the best amateur fighters in the country formed under the direction of UFC veterans and coaches to represent their state in the first ever team versus team, state versus state, dual format amateur MMA tournament. We are the Elite Amateur Fight League. What's up, fight fans? I'm Jim Greeshaber here with UFC Bantamweight Frankie Signs in Parker, Arizona at the Blue Water Resort and Casino for the Elite Amateur Fight League West Coast Regional Championship. Team California set to take on Team Arizona in a state versus state, team versus team amateur MMA competition. Lopez, big, big punches here to the side of the head of Brandon Olivas in round number three. Nice takedown, nice body lock there. He's up the side now. Oh, oh they're swinging, they're swinging. Giannis is dropped. dropped. By Rodriguez. Good shot by Giannis, who's 31 years of age. Rodriguez, just 19, with a big. This has been a clinic in wrestling and grappling by Chris Giannis. Try to kick into a takedown. Josh Kim's stand up is very impressive. Oh, right go. off the fence. <laughs> big right hand from Chris Esquivel. He's got his back mounted fully, raining down blows on him. Rodriguez in trouble, and he taps out. A sufficient win for California's Steve Mulligan, the Marine. Tremendous fight yet again. What a night it's been here in Parker. You know, excellent display of uh, MMA by John Kim. Right now, I just think that uh, Kim is on another level right now. Locked in on that choke with Valdez right now. There it is. Oh my goodness, Valdez slams him down. He's got to watch out for those knees. He's hurt. He's oh, oh, the big oh, and another big one for Valdez. And he knocks out Esteban Valdez up against the post. Sam Alvey and the California Kraken is going to be headed to Indiana. They are going on a mission to win the championship 2016 EAFL. Any words for the Indiana team, Coach, as you get ready to take on the Immortal for the championship? Uh, keep your uh, chin down and hands up, guys, because we're going to knock all of you out. What's up, fight fans, and welcome to the first ever Elite Amateur Fight League National Championship from right here in South Bend, Indiana. I'm Jim Greeshaber, along with UFC veteran Frankie Signs and Frankie, California, the Kraken's coming all the way across the country to take on the Indiana Immortals. Indiana's no joke. Uh, we're down to bang, and if you're not, you're gonna go home sorry. Team Indiana, stay sharp, stay strong, be prepared, we're coming. Nice takedown, nice body lock right to the mat. Again, oh, beautiful kick right to the midsection. Now spinning. And there goes Kim down to the ground again. Farrar, two times in this opening round, has taken him down. Very tough opponent. And Ricky Farrar, who eats a huge left from Kim. I like what I'm seeing with from Farrar. You know, he just, he's got heart. Lopez for California fighting out of the red corner. And Josh Mann for Indiana fighting out of the blue. Yeah. A lot of grappling, that arm bar is tight. Oh, no. Indiana chance going behind us. Home cage uh, advantage. <laughs> but these Midwest boys, they're just tough. Going for the slam is man. Nice take down by man. You need to take advantage of this position right here. Oh, Lopez with a big knee. Lopez continuing to pound away. There's a couple nice strikes landed by both guys here. And another right hand landed by Lopez. David Lopez of the California Kraken is very impressive in his return to the cage. Now we're at 170, Christian Stolp of California and Smokin' Ed Johnson of Indiana. Stolp coming out, throwing those leg kicks. Johnson caught him with the head kick early. Now a full mount for Stolp on Johnson. Big shot by Johnson, Stun Stolp. He could be in trouble. Keep it at distance, he can throw those hands. Couple of big uppercuts landing for Ed Johnson. Johnson's got to keep him at distance and again stuns him. Tremendous performance by Stolp and Johnson at 170. They tap it up in the middle. California's Nick Vega to your left in the blue trunks fighting out of the red corner. Blue corner, white trunks for Indiana's Julian Moore. Moore's a very good grappler. Vega's going to want to throw hands throughout this whole fight. As they head back toward the center of the cage, kick thrown with the left leg by Vega. Oh, he's limping a little bit, and he gets caught with a shot, and he buckles and goes down. A couple more blows rain down from Julian Moore, and that's it. Our referee calls a stop to this fight. Julian Moore's going to get the win. We move on to the lightweight division. Steve Mulligan, the Marine, against Bradley Showboat Glover. 
Mulligan trying to sling him down. Glover does a good job, but then can't avoid Mulligan taking top position. Yeah, he's looking to try to get this rear neck a choke here. There it is. He's got it completely locked in. The legs are locked. The wrist is locked. Squeezing underneath that chin. Glover able to survive that There's, as Mulligan hits him with the left and, and Glover counters with the right. A couple big shots from Mulligan. Mulligan's there it is. Nice takedown. Oh, nice job there. Mulligan hanging on. Meanwhile, a big kick to the midsection from Glover. Glover's going to win these exchanges on the feet. Another big kick and a right hand to follow it. Oh, another big shot. Left and a right from Glover. Not a lot of time left in this fight. Mulligan getting tagged two or three times in a row now by Glover. Just a really, really great amateur fight at 155 pounds. Put in tonight by Steve the Marine Mulligan and Bradley Shobo Glover. We continue with the action. Josh Twin Dragon Kim for California. Brian Ryan Ishmael for Indiana. Nice job by Kim, but rolling right over on top of him is Ishmael. Strikes from the bottom, landing very effectively for Kim. Nice job by Ishmael to hit him against the cage again. A lot of little dirty strikes. You know, it wears you down, you're scoring points. Oh, nice left by Ishmael, snuck through, and Kim coming through with the right. But a big leg kick from Kim almost sent him to the canvas. Kim landed the big right hand there and it mounted on the back now. Got those legs locked in. Ishmael can't do anything here. Very close to being over. Josh Kim, the referee, doing a good job of letting him continue to fight, but that's going to do it. Josh Kim has done it for California. The Krakens will be national champions. All right, Jim Greeshaber in the middle of the cage with the national champions. A nice job, guys. And Head coach, that's smiling Sam Alvey. He's always smiling, especially when they win, and that's all they've done this year. The national champion, California Kraken. Sam, what's next for you after this year? I mean, what a great performance by your team, but this concept, this format, state versus state, national champions, is this something that you look forward to continuing in the future? Yeah, like I said, we're going for dynasty. Uh, we're this year, next year, year after that, we are going to run the tables. They throw whatever teams they want at us, and we will beat them all, uh, and we'll make it look as easy as we can. All right, the California Krakens, 15 to 12 winners tonight over the Indiana Immortals on their home turf in their home cage. Sam Alvey's team gets it done. Nice job, guys. The 2017 National Champions, the first ever in the Elite Amateur Fight League.